Hey, y'all. It has been a minute since I have gone live, but I wanted to get on for 2024 and start this new year right. One of the things I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the months of September and October in part one and the months of November, December in part two. If you don't know who I am, I'm Deborah Taylor, a local real estate agent here in the Memphis area. And I'm sure you're ready to find out what's been going on in the area. So enough said, let's get started. I've captured the numbers here for the month of September and down below is the month of October. I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge this screen so that you can see the entire screen. September, 2023. Now I get it. You're probably saying, what about January 2024? Those numbers won't be out until February. So let's start with what happened in the last four months of 2023. As you can see here, the number of units that was sold in the month of September was 1,339. This was a decrease of sales of negative 28.7% or approximately 29%. The median sales also decreased in regards to the sales price of the home. You can purchase a home in 2023 for $15,000 less than you could if you purchased the same home in 2022. This gave it a negative 6.5%, or if you round it up, it's a negative 7% difference in the median sales price for 2023. Yes, the price of homes in 2023 of September went down. In Shelby County, let's look at the three counties. In Shelby County, the number of units that was sold in 2023 was 1,413. This gave it a negative 26.2%. In regards to the median sales price, that also decreased by negative 2.8%, or if you round it off, that's a negative 3%. This means you can buy a home in Shelby County for $208,000. That's a difference here from if you purchased that home in 2022, you would have been paying more at the whopping price of $214,000. Now in Fayette County, they didn't have as many units there as well. They only had 542 units, which meant that this was a negative 27.2% in regards to the total number of units sold in September of 2023. However, they weren't playing with their homes. They kept their home prices going high at 7.6% or 8% if you round it up. This means that in 2022, you could have purchased a home in Fayette County for about $329,945. But when it came to 2023, you were going to be paying 20 something thousand dollars more at $354,945. Look, Fayette County saying, if you want to come out and live out here, you're going to have to pay. Tipton County is the same way, but you're still going to need about $300,000 either way. The number of units sold in the month of September for Tipton County was 664, as opposed to 2022 when they, only, when they sold more at 894, which gives them a price difference of negative 25.7% or negative 26%. 
when it came to the median sales price, they went up. Now your eyes is not playing with you right here. I had to fix the numbers here. In Tipton County, in 2022, you would have paid $250,000. But if you want to live in Tipton County in 2023, you're going to pay $8,000 more at $258,000. That's a 3.2% increase in the price of homes if you want to live in Tipton County. Now let's look at the month of October. In October, we had some really interesting numbers here. We had an increase in the number of units sold in the month of October. There was a slight bounce back of 0.7%. The number of units in the month of October was 1,489 as opposed to 2022 at 1,478. October, there was a 5% increase in the median sales price. This means in 2022, you can buy a home for about $200,000. But in 2023, you were going to be kicking out $10,000 more at $210,000. Now, if you can get a home around about that price, you're doing pretty good. However, I'm noticing that the homes are kind of fluctuating a little bit. Some are going down, some really are staying stable. Some are not budging when it comes to the price. In Shelby County, the number of units, total number of units sold in Shelby County in the month of October, 2023 was 11,942. That's a negative 23.9% decrease in the number of homes sold or if you round it out, that's a negative 24%. In 2022 of October, there were more homes on the market, more homes sold. There was 15,688 units sold in the month of October, 2022. There was a slight decrease in the price change in the difference when it came to 2022 and 2023. Now, I had to make some corrections again, so you're going to have to forgive me, but I'm trying to get these numbers right here. When it came to the median sales price in Shelby County in the month of October, it was $206,000 you can buy a home. In October 2022, you paid 2.2% more than you would pay in October 2023. Fayette County. Fayette County, boy, you got to love some Fayette County. When it came to Fayette County, the number of units available in 2023 was 605. In 2022 of October, it was 828 units available. This is a negative 26.9% or negative 27% decrease in the number of units available if you want to live in Fayette County. Now, the median sales price increased again, just like they did in September. They want you to pay the price if you want to move out there in in Fayette County. In October of 2022, you will pay $329,990 as opposed to in October of 2023, you're going to be coughing up $355,000. That's a 7.6% increase or 8% increase if you round it up. In Tipton County, the these counties, Tipton and, and Fayette, they want you to pay their price if you want to live in these homes. In Tipton County, the number of units sold in 2023 was 741. This is a negative 23.8% or if you round it up, it's a negative 24%. In regards to the median price, you're going to be paying $7,000 more in 2023 at a whopping 257000 
as opposed to October 2022, when you have been paying $250,000, which is a 2.8% increase in the median sales price, or if you round it up, it's approximately 3%. So there you have it. The numbers for September and October of 2023, you were not seeing things. I made a few changes in the numbers because I had them a little bit backwards or I didn't have them correct, but your eyesight is doing good. So they're, all the numbers are in there in the spreadsheet correctly. And now you have the numbers for the month of September and October. Be sure to click on that notification button and like and subscribe so that you can get the numbers for November and December. So until next time, bye y'all.